Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of Mid-Rank Madness. And today, it's going to be a game between Toxic Zero and Atari Power on Catalina, the latter edition. In the bottom left-hand corner of the map, well, more just straight left, it is the Red Zerg player Atari Power. And closer to the bottom right-hand corner of the map, it is the Blue Terran player Toxic Zero. From CIZ. Alrighty then, here we are on Catalina for another edition of Mid Rank Madness. And this is just my weekly examination of Gold, Platinum, and Diamond level League Gaming sent to me at Falcon Paladin at gmail.com with the subject of Mid Rank Madness. My screener, Austin, went through all the ones I've gotten recently, chose a couple of them, and this is one of those that he specifically chose from a large group. Of Midrake Madness replays. So if this is you, congratulations on getting chosen. Real fun game you sent in. And let's get right on into it. It looks like it's going to be a no hatch from Atari Power. He's going Extractor Pool. Not getting any gas here either. Now the pool's finished. This is very interesting from Atari Power. Why does he have an Extractor if he's not using it? This is confusing indeed. And on the other side of the map, it is a blue Terran player named Toxic Zero. He's going to go Reaper. He's got the gas for it. Looks like he's uh, he's planning on it, man. Let's do this thing. Although he did see the early pool, so it's maybe not going to be as good. Whoa, he just... I, I think, no, he was going to make a marine, it looked like, but then he canceled it. He's going to make a reactor instead here. Meanwhile, SCV trying to block off expansion location for Atari Power, but no, gets killed by six lings. Toxic Zero, very sad about losing his SCV, I guess, here. Atari Power is still not getting any gas, you guys. What is happening right now? This is weird. He's sending the lings out. I think Atari Power wants to be aggressive. The problem is he doesn't know where his opponent is. So he's heading up to the top spawning location on Catalina and he's going to do absolutely nothing. He is expanding behind this, which is very good. Is he finally getting gas? He's finally getting gas. He's got two workers on his gas instead of the three. Usually you want this to be fully saturated. Unless you have some very specific plans and I'm not sure that Atari Power has a specific plan. Toxic Zero getting a lot of Marines. He's worried about these Lings showing up at his front door. He doesn't feel like maybe a Reaper's enough. Whoa, Atari Power double expanding right now. Taking a third base just to the right of his main, just down that cliff. Traditional third base location here on this map. Oh, goodness. All right, so these Lings are not going to be able to do much here. There are already three Marines out. Kind of looking skinnier there, Marines. And if you got some repair off, do you even need repair? Is the question. Nah, Atari Power is smart enough to not sacrifice... All of his Erglings in a vain attempt to get inside here. This is a wall. It's a Terran wall. Speedlings are generally never going to be enough if there's any kind of defense behind it. Banelings? Sure. Maybe Lings with upgrades? Maybe, depending on what's going on. But it is a very rare eventuality. Toxic Hero actually getting a bunker. He is worried about further aggression from Atari Power. But Atari Power has decided, you know what? That's enough. That's enough Zerglings. I've got six of them out. I'm going to double expand. Going to get gas. Oh, yeah, it's fully saturated. His extractor in his main. He got another extractor just now popping, and he's going for a baneling nest. So maybe he's going to try to baneling bust this guy for three bases. This is a strategy. Where did I see this? Life. I want to say use this in the WCS Global Finals in so long ago. Four, five, six, seven years ago now. It's been a long time is what I'm saying. But Life had this three base baneling bust thing he did against Terran. And Terrans just basically were refusing to get tanks at that point in time. They just weren't doing it, so life completely overwhelmed them. And that was all she wrote for a lot of Terrans. It was a very strange moment in StarCraft II history. Eventually, Terrans figured it out. Like, okay, we get a couple tanks up, we, sp we target fire those Banelings, and that's pretty much it for the Zerg player. But yeah, it was weird. Bunker's at the front door for Toxic Zero. He's going to try to expand. He salvages Bunker inside the main, which is very smart. His expansion... Inside the main base, this Toxic Zero Command Center with Orbital Command Upgrade now should be lifted off and landed down here. Honestly, maybe he's waiting for the bunkers to finish or whatever it is. Is that another O Engineering Bay going to help wall off this front too? So he is expecting extreme aggression from Atari Power. And honestly, I, I'm, I'm not surprised he's expecting that because he saw six lings very early with a pull first build. But then, no, Atari Power immediately switched it up into a more macro-style game here. Back home, he does have that bailing nest. He's making 16 lings now. All right, so now he is being aggressive. We'll see if there's a wall enough to hold here. Once again, bailing's pretty good at wrecking walls. Speed is done for Atari Power's Zerglings. He's got seven bailings in production somewhere. Where the heck is he making bailing? Oh, is he going Drop Lord? 
Oh, no, wait, no. He needs an evolution chamber to do that. Uh, is that it? Evolution chamber. Okay, he figured it out. Figured it out. He's going to try to Bane Lane drop here inside the main base of Toxic Zero at about five minutes, which is a pretty darn good strategy. I am not going to complain about that, even a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. What a mine's in production for Toxic Zero. He really is defending himself as well as he can at the front door, but unfortunately for him, the attack is going to come in the back. Sensor Tower might help with this, except there's a tiny little ledge just on the outer edges of the main base of Toxic Zero, where that does not actually show what's coming. Well, actually, it doesn't show what's coming at all out here in the Fog of War, but it doesn't really matter. I guess it could unload right here and be hidden pretty nicely. More Lings. Yeah, Atari Power basically says, I've tried this. I have actually tried getting through a Terran wall before, and it doesn't work. So I'm going to try to backdoor this thing, get inside that main base where he's not expecting it. All his forces will be at the front, which is its very well set up. These two bunkers, he's got four Widow Mines. If you try to Bailing Bust this thing, you're likely going to have a really bad time. Atari Power it has got two Speed Overlords, oh, Drop Lords rather, and then another Speed Drop Lord here. It's going to be mostly Bailings with a smattering of Zerglings here. Three full Overlords going to try to sneak in. Can they get this thing done? Atari Power is doing nothing back home. This is how you know it's Mindrake Bandits, you guys. You got you to gotta keep working. Got to keep Macroing back home, dude. Can't sit here absolutely doing nothing while you're controlling your overlords. I understand. I understand your concerns, but Missile Turret's coming up here for Toxic Zero. He's worried about Mutas. As it turns out, is Toxic Zero pinging his own... Pinging to tell himself what's going on here. All right, here's the unload. Bane links two of them exploding on a single SCV. Good response here for these Marines, but it's not going to be enough. It is definitely not going to be enough at all. SCVs dying. Marines running for their lives from these Zerglings. Other Zerglings just dying to the larger group down in the natural base. And these SCVs need to get out of there. Go, go. Okay, I was going to say. They were just sitting here clumped up lower in the supply depot. <laughs> yeah, these buildings want to get a hit, but I don't think they're going to be able to do it. And where are you going to explode? Oh, on those Marines. And it looks like, okay, did we survive? We survived. Toxic Zero is still alive. There's a single Zergling up here just hanging out for Atari Power. Uh, get, get in there. Go, go attack some stuff, Zergling. That is your pr pr prime directive. How... You can see stuff, right? I guess more Zerglings are on the way. Missile Turret's trying to get built, but it's too late. More Overlords. More dropping Zerglings on top of this stuff. The Banelings really want to show up, but they're not here yet. Just entirely Zerglings. Here inside the main base, 13 Lings have died. Only six SCVs have been killed so far. Got to lift off this main supply depot, or main command center, rather. Meanwhile, there is a drop over here in the main base of Atari Power. The Marines are just mad. They want revenge. They've lost workers. A bunch of Zerglings do show up here. No upgrades on these guys. This is going to be enough. Burrow the Widow Mine. Burrow the Widow Mine. Great positioning by these Marines. I'm not sure he actually even needs to. Wow. Excellent job there by Toxic Zero. This is going to turn into a base race. Ladies and gents, Baneling's dropping here inside the natural, getting target fired. Baneling wants to explode on these guys. Oh, sacrificing one SCVs, some of his health to make this thing happen, to protect his friends. Excellent work. Zerglings, think about it. Where are they going to go? Where are they going to go? The main base is not looking good for Toxic Zero at all. Supply Depot with extra supply is going to fall down. Toxic Zero will not be supply blocked by that, though it seems like he possibly could. And finally, enough Lings do show up to clean up. The Marines inside the main base of Atari Power. It is 24 to 9 Harvesters, though. 9 Harvesters for Atari Power. 25 drones have been killed, and only 10 SCVs have died, which is incredibly impressive. From Toxic Zero, here are the Mindrake Madness. Level of the game. Engineering Bay going down. Barracks going down. Armory likely going to die here, too. What is left inside the main base of Toxic Zero? He's basically abandoning it right now. He is. He's flying his buildings out. The stuff that can't fly out, he's kind of trying to make happen. It is a bailing buzz from inside the main base of Toxic Zero to the natural base of Toxic Zero. This is amazing. Widow Mine going to burrow itself here. Couple Widow Mine's going to burrow themselves and try to catch a large group of these Banes as they waddle in. Oh, this is going to be real good for Toxic Zero. Oh my gosh, no. Alright, excellent job. Almost got a reactor with all of those Banelings. That was real bad. 17 Banelings have been killed. Not of their own terms. And not what they want. Fourth base on the way from Atari Power. Just north of his natural. And that's a third base from Toxic Zero. I guess that's his main. That he lifted off and landed way the heck on over here. And he's finally bringing his medevacs home after they've been hanging out doing pretty much nothing in the main base of Atari Power for a while now. Atari Power did keep his lair, which is real nice. 
He also replacing his queen. He needs to get his drone count back up, but he's not making drones. He's got 1,000 minerals for right now and 12 drones and enough supply to do it. Just drone up, dude. So he's combining. He's getting five drones and 14 zerglings. He's really worried about a counterattack from the Terran player right now. But the Terran player is as scared as he is, is the thing. He is playing defense. He is turtling real, real hard. No sign that he's going to go for any kind of a drop anytime soon. Toxic Hero is replacing his main base, building another command center here. Missile turrets all along this right side for Toxic Zero, where he's been dropped previously a few times in this game thus far. Infestation Pit, a ten and a half minute infestation pit. Minric Madness is actually pretty interesting. Hmm. All right, so what's he going to do with it is the question. Is he going to go right to Hive? A ten minute Hive would be real fun, actually. With the number of Widow Mines and Marines that Toxic Power is working with right now. Ultras would be a pretty good choice. Also, maybe Broodlords if you do have enough support for them, but that can be difficult to pull off here at these lower levels. Plus one Ground Carapace being researched by Atari Power. And as long as we're hanging out, is he trying to fake out Toxic Zero with his Drop Lord? He is. That's funny. No response, though, from Toxic Zero. No, sir. None. Oh, now he is. Now he's getting his SCVs out of there. I guess maybe he's just transferring. Nah, he's bringing most of them back. So resources lost. 3,100 for Toxic Zero. Compared to a total of 5,200 for Atari Power. Fifth base up top for Atari Power. Really moving into a more macro style game here from Atari Power. He needs to make something besides Lings and Banes though. He has the tech required to do it. He could make, actually could just straight up go for Swarm Host now, right? Ta da yep, he certainly could go for them Swarm Host. 100 minerals and 75 gas. He's incredibly gas starved is the problem with that. Got two extractors at his natural, not using them at all. Two extractors in his main that are fully saturated, but one is bleeding pretty heavily. And Toxic Zero's got to feel safe at this point. He needs to feel like, okay. All right. I am well prepared for any kind of an attack coming from the Zerg player. Maybe time to set up a drop. Maybe it's time to go for just an attack out the middle here. I don't know. But he's, he's feeling extremely worried about this. Is he upgrading another lair? His fourth base is upgrading itself to a lair. I guess he's worried about losing this one that has only has 400 hit points here inside the main base. Seems very possible. Viking flying around, not finding this drop lord. Now finding this drop lord. Get out of there, overlord. I mean, drop lord. Yeah, absolutely going to die. Missile turret helping with that. Missile turret steals the kill. Steals the kill from the Viking pilot. Come on. Come on. Two medevacs heading up north. Gonna see what they can see. Oh, there, there are two bases up here the Terran player does not know about. So he's gonna be pleasantly surprised to see. Oh, there's they're basically undefended hatcheries. I can take down the this new lair. And a lot of trouble here too. Unloading a group of eight Marines here by this fifth base location. Up north, plus one, plus one done for those Marines. And then dropping another one here at this fourth base location. There are actually some drones here and they are gonna die extremely quickly. Wow, 37 to 44 Harvesters. Lings do show up. They've got that plus one armor. Harder to kill. And they do force a pickup and a liftoff by Toxic Zero. The fifth base is gone. Nice liftoff before the Brulings can get any shots off on these dudes. There are some creep tumors pushing out from this third base location, but basically shut down two bases with one attack. The Toxic Zero, that was very nice. Finally getting something besides Lings and Banes. Atari Power is going for Hydralisks, which generally not amazing against a bio player, especially not if they have tanks. And by tanks, I mean two. That Toxic Zero has. Drop flying. Oh, drop. See this drone. See this expansion attempt. He just evacuated where Atari Power was trying to set up a replacement fifth base here. Creep spread looking okay. It's not the best creep spread of all time, but he is making an effort, which I appreciate. Single Hydra and a queen here. Trying to get rid of these drops, but it's flying over a sport crawler. No! Oh, losing a full medevac. Just barely on the edge of that sport crawler's attack range. I don't know you want to unload here, dude. This is a real scary place to unload. A lot of hydras. Actually, a lot of zerglings too. And yes, he does decide. Toxic Hero decides it is time to get out. And thus he does. Replacing his fifth base is Atari Power. Sixth base coming up too. He's expanding like a crazy person. And I kind of like it. I mean, if your Terran opponent is just going to kind of hang back, turtle up like this, expand, 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 pre be prepared for when the attack comes, but you don't really have to go in there and take him down, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Main base is pretty much back to normalcy for Toxic Zero right now. 
extra supply called down. That's the like second time he's done that. Looks like about the second time. You know what? No, because this one and this one are both called down too. He's been using call down a lot instead of mules. Generally, generally it's recommended for Terran players to use mules instead of supply call down, but Toxic Zero does not believe, does not believe in you guys and your recommendations at all. 15 drones at once for Atari Power right now, getting himself a hive too. And Toxic Zero deciding it is time to move on up here. Also, did you hear the news? Free to play StarCraft 2. So get all your friends, get all of them in. Give me some good Into the Void material, you guys. Your people don't have to pay to get into StarCraft. They're going to be more likely to give it a shot, which should be a nice influx of brand new players into the Bronze League levels. It might be a renaissance, a rebirth, if you will, of low level Into the Void casts I can cast. All right, Toxic Zero setting up here with his tanks, Marines, Vikings, hitting high ground, Spore Crawlers for Atari Power. Atari Power, does he want to attack into this is the question of the day. I don't actually know. Marines going right into this third base. There is no response from Atari Power right now. He's retreating with his drones, which is really smart, but no, I don't think he has enough of an army right now. He's got plus two armor Hydras. And there's about a page of them, which is good, but yeah, this third base is out. This is plus one, plus one Marines. Oh, Swarm Host. This is going to be Swarm Host. Swarm Host Hydralisk from Atari Power. Now, the trick here for our Terran player is that you do not want to engage into Locusts directly. Is what you do not want to do. Now, oh, manage to get past the Spore Crawlers and attack. Meanwhile, Hydra's coming in to finish off this stuff on the low ground for Toxic Zero. Tanks. Oh, so many tanks, though. And the Hydras decide to retreat. Good pullback, actually, from Atari Power. However, main base in a lot of trouble. Hive is going to fall. I don't think there's any way of saving it. Nope. A couple Swarm Hosts showing up. And you managed to pop some Locusts down. But lifting and getting out of there is Toxic Zero. Trying not to fly past those Spore Callers this time. And he's going to rejoin with the rest of his buddies down by the third base they kill. So the Hive is gone. Unless there's a new Hive up here. I hate Terran. Nope, that's a Lair from Atari Power. No, Atari Power's mad. Come on, Atari Power. You got this thing. Don't be so upset. Toxic Zero throwing out the... Mm, we're just playing a game, dude. Totally fine. Totally fine. Dang, Atari Power. You have so many bases. Small group of Marines is going to try to take down this sixth base of Atari Power. Oh, Toxic Zero's mad about Zerg being overpowered. You guys, you guys. At this level, it doesn't matter. This level, overpower doesn't matter. <sighs> I know. I know I've had complaints in the past. But I'm trying to change my ways. Locust trying to chase this army away. Like I said, not engaging is good. But he's going to let these Locusts land and get some good damage done on these guys. Tank Splash, amazing though. However, Hydro Locust going to finish off the initial army of Toxic Zero. Reinforcements are coming on in. He is fighting Locusts directly, which is not ideal. Not even ideal at all. But the remaining Hydralisks are going to be gone too. The Swarm Host by themselves, again, not great. Hydra is picking off a few of those Vikings, though. Viking count getting pretty low. It's only one for Toxic Zero right now. Atari Power needs to get these Swarm Hosts out. Needs to get them out of here right now. Luckily, he does have some Locusts he can pop. And he's going to burrow and say, hey, why don't you attack this? But no, Toxic Zero gets the heck on out, except for some Marines that are left behind to die. Going to lift up to the new lair location of Atari Power. And, oh, he burrowed his drones. So smart. So smart to burrow your drones, but there are some hiders and some sword hosts showing up to try to deal with this thing. At the very least, it is getting Toxic Zero some impetus to get the heck on out of there. And he does. Going to try to go after this fifth base location of Atari Powers up uh, north. No, he jukes him. He jukes him because that's where the army went. Meanwhile, small group of Marines still going after the sixth base of Atari Power. They are not many. They don't really have any medevac support, so they can't stim necessarily, but they're doing their best. They are working their hardest at shooting their guns onto that thing. A couple Marines here are going to die at the natural base, too. I guess they might have gotten dropped. What are they? Are they rallied? It might have been a bad rally from Toxic Zero. I think he had it, but no. No, he does not. 122 to 116 total supply. Toxic Zero is in the lead there. 54 to 48 harvesters as well, which is very nice. And Atari Power 6th base is going to die to these Marines. Additional upgrades would be great for both of these players. 
Bit of a drop here at the third base location. Got his tanks on the ground and in siege mode. The replacement lair, I think it's going to die. These Marines are not assisting. There we go. Some Marines are assisting. I don't know where they're going otherwise. A couple of hydralisks. God, they're so big compared to Marines, actually. The Marines stimming themselves to get the heck on out. Run. Hydrogen's rallied, yo. They're not chasing you. I know it looks like they're chasing you. Oh, now they are. Okay. They got to their rally point. <laughs> Lair tanking target damage. Tari Power still very upset about this thing. Hydralisk trying to attack up into the natural. No, you're on one base. You think he's on one base? Oh, he doesn't know about the third. He never scouted it. Oh, no scouting. You guys, scouting is real, real good. As it turns out, scouting is the greatest. Does he still not know about He still doesn't know about this thing. That's the thing. You can't assume... You can't assume, you guys. You can't assume that what you see of your opponents is what they have. Tari Power is still very upset. Good heavens, Bendrake Madness. We need to teach you all some manners. Is what we got to do here. <laughs> Toxic Zero. Throw him some stuff back. 129 to 78 total supply. Is it our power even really playing? He's got 5,000 minerals and 2,000 gas. And he's doing absolutely nothing with it. He's got 17... Larva, that he could use, he could make something with it. Good heavens, dude. I guess he did lose. He doesn't have a lair. So he can't make a lot of things. Toxic Zero continuing to push on up. Oh, going to get rid of some of these outer bases. This is kind of how you want to do if you're Terran. Just force a Zerg player to go a long way to defend their stuff. Good scanning? Nope, not good scanning. He doesn't know about any of these four bases up north that Atari Power has. Well, three of them. Although Atari Power did tell him he has seven bases. Also, these Swarm Hosts are pretty much useless as defense. You want to use them aggressively. Maybe set up here. Launch Locusts into this third base location. Set up down here. Launch Locusts into the main base location. Whatever you can do with them. But just having them sit inside your natural is a really bad thing. Hatchery trying to come up at this fourth base location. There's a tank ready, though. And it kills it with 15 kills. 15 kills. Another base up north for Atari Power going down. I think this is it. I really feel like we're just kind of dragging it out at this point. Oh, that's a pretty good Ling Hydra Swarm Host army for Atari Power. I just feel like Atari Power is kind of giving up is the problem here. Number of hatches killed is currently six and a hive and a lair. That is a lot of base killing from the Terran player. He's got a fourth base being constructed, a fifth base too. Double expanding behind all of this, feeling pretty darn confident. I'd have to say 158 to 108 total supply Atari power Maybe gonna try to catch these guys out of position a little bit. Does he even see them? No, he doesn't. Now he does He's like, oh a single tank. I can get that. Wait, no Yeah, a million locusts descend upon that poor siege tank all by his lonesome liberators are here You need to focus down the liberators with the hydras if and you can. Locus doing pretty well for themselves. Baneling's showing up too. Oh, the Hydra is still managing to stay alive. No, is it enough? It's not enough. And all the Hydras are gone. Good Liberator play. Liberator, six kills, four kills. Tanks with 20 kills, 16 kills. Six and one. He is a recruit. Another drop inside the main base of Atari Power. He's got the macro hatches. Which seems fine. He still has oh, so much money. And 25 larva. And that's it. Rage quit from Atari Power. Toxic Zero is your victor in this week's edition of Mid Rank Madness. Still running around trying to kill stuff, though. Can't necessarily blame him. So, yeah, what it came down to for Atari Power was one don't go 12 pool against a Terran. It just is not generally going to work out for you. It's not outside of very, very specific situations. So, don't do that. Number two. Spend your money, spend your larva, and number three, scout. Number three, scout. If the Atari Power had known about this third, he could have at least harassed it a little bit, but instead, never did. Did he get the bunker? He got the bunker upgrade. <laughs> Toxic Zero working hard, man. He gets the bunker upgrade. What a, what a boss. Anyway, good comeback from Toxic Zero, I'd say. Losing your main base is very, very scary, but in the end, you got it. Expanding behind it too. These bases are very, very late. His fourth and his fifth, but he's playing pretty conservatively, and it worked out for him in the end. So, good one today. That's gonna be it from me. This has been Falcon Paladin coming to you 
with yet another edition of Mid-Rank Madness. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself. God's
watch over you. Thank you.